Hey guys, top of the afternoon to you, man. One o'clock in the afternoon here today. It is uh, Sunday, September 3rd. Uh, we're currently at home here in Akron, Ohio. We are uh, we're kind of laying over until tomorrow, and then we're going to head out to Wisconsin. Um, we have a load heading out there, and I'd gotten it like a day or two ago, and it wasn't delivering until Tuesday, so I just thought, well... I'm heading right past my house anyway, so I might as well just stop in, see the girls, spend some home time, and be with my girls for a little bit. But, uh, yeah, so today, I'm just, uh, I'm sitting over here at the gym, getting ready to go work out again. Yeah, same old, same old. Gotta try and stay in shape. But, uh, there, there have been a couple people asking me, you know, what, what exactly is my, is my daily routine or my intake, and, you know, it kind of fluctuates from day to day. I don't have, with my job, I don't have a particular schedule or routine that I abide by, uh, as, as bad as that is to say. I wish I did. Um, it would be nice to put your body in that same routine every day. But, unfortunately, I have to mix it up a little bit. And it's like, you know, one day I'll be driving all night and sleeping, you know, at four in the morning until maybe seven or eight in the morning and then back on the road driving again and not being able to get to the gym until maybe three or four that afternoon and then the next day I might not be able to get to the gym until one o'clock the next morning um, you know it, it's it's really sporadic so it's hard for me to give a, a breakdown uh, how I do things I mean I can tell you like today I uh, I got up I had my normal cup of coffee. I normally have about one, maybe one and a half cups of coffee. And I, I know some of you guys know that I do I do a little bit of sugar in my coffee. Uh, that's the only sugar that I normally ingest unless, you know, my daughter and I decide to make a cake or some brownies or, you know, something of the sort. But um, normally that's the only sweet that I have is in my coffee of a, of a morning. Uh, you know, it depends if I'm just having a regular cup at home. I'll have like one spoon of sugar. Uh, if I have like a big McDonald's coffee, I have like five or six of those little tiny packets of, of sugar. So anyway, I have a coffee in the morning, and then I probably don't eat until about anywhere from one, two, three in the afternoon. And even then, I'm not eating a lot. I'm only eating just a, a minor, you know, maybe a, a, a six-inch sub. And that's about it. And before my workout, you guys see me talk about this the other day. Uh, NO Explode is something I use regularly now, and it uh, it really gives me some explosive, you know, adrenaline rush workouts. I mean, I, I take this stuff, and I, I can't say enough about it, man. I go in there, and I'll hit those workouts for like two and three hours. It just it keeps you going. Uh, you know, when you first take it. Keep in mind, like what happened with me anyway, when I first took this stuff, I'd had the jitters. I'd had the jitters and, and like my face and everything had turned red, my arms had turned red, and it was like that for about 10 or 15 minutes. And then it finally went away, and I, I'd called because I got nervous about it. I was like, I'd never experienced such a thing. So I called the uh, nutrition store that I bought that at, and they said that's normal. It's basically just opening up. Your vessels allowing all the fl all the blood and everything to, to flow more smoothly and freely, which causes you to do that that turning you know turning red. After about 15 minutes, that goes away and you're just back to normal. But you're still you still have that adrenaline, you still have that rush. You want to go in there and you just want to you just want to pound those weights out like repeatedly. And I also take my you know just like anybody, I take some protein powder. I take about 25 grams of protein before my workout and I'll do another 25 after the workout they say to have you know one gram of protein per pound that you weigh in my case it would be 191 grams of protein it's very hard for me to hit that very hard um, unless I'm just strictly focused on it it's very hard to consume 191 grams of protein in a day I try to do my best you know uh, I have my I have my bread here you know, it's 8 grams of protein per slice of bread, so you know I have a sandwich, a couple slices of that. With uh, chicken, uh, the chicken itself, you know, could be anywhere from 10 to 20 grams of protein. Um, what else do I have in here? Oh, I have my, I have my protein bars. 
you know, I'll eat my protein bars and that has 20 grams of protein. So it's kind of like a, it's kind of like a give and take thing. I mean, you, you just try and intake as much as you can. Um, you know, I got my, I got my oatmeal sitting there. Um, yeah, just whatever I can get, man, to get protein, I'll, I'll take it in. But I'm not going to overload myself to where my gut just feels like it's out to here because I need the protein. I mean, I, I'm going to take as much as I feel like I can consume and then I'm going to stop. I mean, if I was to constantly take in the amount of protein, 191 grams of protein, that would be, you know, basically a big bottle of protein powder like every three or four days. And that shit's like 30 to $50. I, I just can't afford that. So I, I, I do what I can, you know, eat chicken, you know, eat the bread, I eat the protein bars, a uh, combination with the protein drinks and just any other foods I can find, man, there's protein. I'll, I'll ingest the foods and try and get my protein that way. But so far it's working, man. Getting, getting some nice gains. You know, I don't flex much, but hey, I just want to show you all. Yeah, get some nice gains, man. And uh, y'all seen the uh, the video the other day. I did a before and after picture in the video. You go back and see that. Uh, that's just three months, so I'm, I'm very stoked to get to that six-month mark to see how much more and or maybe it'll get stagnant. Maybe I'll sit at that same, that same area and I, I won't get another peak. I'll have to adjust my workout uh, accordingly and, you know, go from there. But... Um, yeah, so I kind of got off track there. I was just trying to give you guys an update, and obviously, as always, it, it went over to my workout thing. So I'm going to get in the gym, uh, get some stuff done here, and then I'm going to go home, finish my time up with my girls. Then we're going to get to Wisconsin. And uh, so, yeah, next time you guys see me, we should be on the road. So we'll see you in a bit, man. Y'all have a good day that way. Yeah.